Hello there ladies and gents, today I want to dissect the possibility of the next Total War title being Total War Empire 2. Many of you might think this will not happen, that this doesn't even make any sense, but truth is, the more I think about it, the more likely it seems. But again, it is just a possibility and I do not know what the next historical Total War title will be. We just all know it's being developed and also that it will likely come up in 2022. CA have been going through a Call of Duty development cycle where every year a game is put forth. In 2018 we had the infamous Thrones of Britannia, in 2019 we had the Great Three Kingdoms, in 2020 we had the meh Troy, in 2021 we're having Warhammer 3 and in 2022 we'll have the next historical title. Either that or another saga game because we had saga, historical saga, fantasy, so next could be a saga and only in 2023 the historical title. But considering that we were told last year that a historical title was in the works, I think it's plausible to assume we'll get the next historical title in 2022, even if it's late 2022. With the release dates out of the way, either 2022 or 2023, we'll now discuss why I think Total War Empire 2 is the best candidate. Let's have a look at the competition, what other titles are likely to be portrayed. First off, we have Medieval 3. It's one of the most requested games. Shogun 1 got its sequel, Rome 1 got its sequel, Medieval 1 got its sequel, but this sequel still runs on the old Warscape engine. And we've yet to witness a Medieval in the current engine, or better yet, on a new one that we haven't been presented to yet. This would make sense since we had an emphasis on characters in Three Kingdoms that I find crucial to depict the medieval world. Plus, the popularity of Medieval 2 according to Steam is actually higher than Empires by about 30%. The issue with Medieval 3 is that it would cater mostly to an European or Middle Eastern audience. Would CA want to capitalize on their recent successes in Asia with Three Kingdoms, maybe even with the Eastern expansion to Warhammer in the upcoming title? I think they really, really would. The next possible titles are not sequels, rather new time periods to explore, but they all have the same issue as Medieval 3. They focus heavily on the Mediterranean. These are Pike and Shot, Renaissance and the Victorian era. Of course, you could have expanded maps featuring colonization heavily and I'd predict a lot of faction packs and campaign DLCs. These would all be great picks, could cater to a wide audience worldwide if you would include key Asian, African and Mesoamerican factions as well as different playstyles due to the amount of variety within the factions. But none of these titles has a pre-existing community or loyal fanbase to drive the hype into the stratosphere. And the best part Part is that most of the combat practiced in all of these ages has already been depicted by a previous Total War title and as such CA would be able to improve on that. Last but not least we have Total War Bronze Age. We of course had a glimpse of this in Bronze Age Egypt Total War, um, I mean Troy, but Troy was heavily focused on a set piece. Flaws of that game apart, the campaign works. I feel it's a bit too war ammer ish and I'd like it more Rome-ish, but all in all it was decent. Could Troy be a gnomon of what's to come? Total War Bronze Age? Honestly, I don't really think so. I haven't seen a lot of players asking for it, the historical records are not very complete, giving a lot of interpretation which can be a good and a bad thing for the developer and the chance that it will fail is just too damn high. Too risky really. And again, I believe that all previous titles I mentioned would be far more popular. So that leaves me with Total War Empire 2. Why this one? Why not any of the others? Well, with Empire 2 you'd be able to have a campaign anywhere from the 1500s all the way to the late 1800s spanning a whopping 300 to 400 years time period. Now, yes, I'm aware that Empire 2 was only from the 1700s to the 1800s, so 100 year time span, but hear me out. Three Kingdoms has set the precedent to various time periods. The amount of content available would be massive with those different starting ages or starting years. I'd assume the main campaign would be sort of like Empire 1 and then having a DLC with a new starting date on the year 1600 and then another 1480 and then another in the year 1800 for example. Then on top of this you could have culture packs fleshing out quotes and quotes forgotten factions. You could add China, Korea, J 
Japan, the Aztecs, the American tribes, etc. You know, you, you name it. Some could play wildly different, still allowing for great variety within factions. There could be a massive tech tree that'd be extremely important, especially as development accelerates towards the end of the campaign. Also imagine being able to start as a Native American and through trade with the Western powers, slowly but surely develop and becoming a powerhouse yourself. If, of course, the campaign mechanics gain depth that reward player choice and good empire management. The map might be huge. Warhammer 3, kind of huge. That's the precedence of Warhammer. Hundreds of factions, dozens of playable ones in a massive worldwide map. Empire 2 is one of those games that could even be cut into three games like Warhammer. First one focusing on the High Middle Ages and the Renaissance period. Map like Medieval 2 one for example. Then they add Africa and the full Americas and finally on the last game the Asian part of the world. The potential with Empire 2 is just immense really. You can cater to a worldwide audience, adding nations in all continents, so you can add campaigns like Napoleon, the Japanese invasion of Korea, the American Civil War or Independence War, a campaign focusing on Africa and African factions. In fact, it'd be a great game to focus on the African kingdoms of the High Middle Ages and the Renaissance periods. We've never seen such factions in any Total War game. I really believe that the features that have been making an appearance on the last Total Wars might give us the biggest historical game game scope ever. And if CA is able to pull it off, it could not only be a wise choice business-wise, it would be the most epic Total War to date. Have I convinced you that Empire 2 is most likely the next Total War game? If not, what do you think will be the next Total War game? Share in the comments below, let's discuss this. In a future video I'll discuss something I've been thinking about for a while, why CA should start fundamentally changing the way the campaign works, at least on spin-off games, right, on the saga games for example. I think that'll be an interesting video with lots of conjecture and maybe, perhaps, a little bit of rambling, so be sure to like and subscribe to the channel to help spread the message across the interwebs. What message, you ask? To be aware of the olive oil, be nice to your pet codfish, and to order some pestes de blé. I'll see you all in the next video, and remember, Portugal, caralho. I'm in Portugal.